Man, YouTube, I seen this, man, and you know it couldn't get no more disgusting than this. Courtesy of CBS Pittsburgh. Former Pittsburgh priest accused of filming boy in Target bathroom. Let's roll that clip. Big story, a man accused of recording a child who was using the restroom at a local Target. It turns out the man accused is a former priest. And that's not all. He was named in the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report on sex abuse in the Catholic Church, and he's reportedly done similar things in the past. Chris Hoffman has been working on this story all day and joins us with details and reaction from the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese. Chris. Ken and Christine, 77-year-old Paul Spizak, was one of hundreds of priests that was listed in that scathing grand jury report back in 2018. And most recently, back in 2016, he's accused of doing very similar actions of once again recording people in a bathroom in a local mall. According to a criminal complaint, Spizak recorded a 13-year-old boy in the restroom of the East Liberty Target on Tuesday. That's just like incredible. Like that's something people shouldn't be doing, especially to kids. Like, you know, that's kind of like na nasty. Police say the victim noticed someone filming through a crack in the stall. The child's father flagged down a security guard who confronted Spizak. He allegedly said he was not filming and just playing solitaire on his phone. After Pittsburgh police arrived, Spizak admitted to filming the teen. And I have a 13-year-old, 11-year-old, and a 7-year-old. So I would never, never want to see another child go through like that. I think it's derogatory, you know, disrespectful and stuff, you know. Like a child predator. In a statement, the diocese says, quote, The Diocese of Pittsburgh was not aware of the arrest of Paul Spizak until it was brought to our attention by the media. Paul Spizak has not been an active priest in the Diocese of Pittsburgh since 2002. He was removed from active ministry on February 22, 2002, and has not been involved with any ministry since 2002. Contrary to information listed in the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report, again, Spizak has not been in ministry since 2002. As a resident of St. John Vianney Manor, any violation of the conditions of his resident would lead to the removal from that residence. There is predators out here. You just got to watch. Watch your children as possible as much as you can. Court records say he is currently living at the St. John Vianney Moore facility, which is a home for retired priests. And tonight, Spizak is facing charges of child pornography as well as invasion of privacy. Live outside Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. What I don't understand, YouTube, is how the, what is the desire for a little boy? What is the desire for a little girl? I don't under, I, I, I would never understand this predatory mind state, man. You, how, how can you find a child sexually attractive? I, I just don't understand that. And y'all have to, y'all better wake up. All you people that want to believe in this Catholic religion, these are the people that this is the face of it right here. And once again, remember, it was the Romans. Remember the Roman Catholics? It was the Romans that killed the Messiah. So what are you people doing? What are you people doing? Besides participating in a false religion with a bunch of child molesters, proven child molesters, child molesters that have been convicted and his own record like Paul Spizak drop your comments down below man don't forget to like subscribe and share don't forget to click on that notification bell and I'm gonna call the pigs I'm gonna call the police and see if they picked them up I'll catch you on the next video Shalom